Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's. It has been a chilly end to the week and temperatures are not going to change much as we head into this weekend. A cloudy end of the week too, but we got a little burst of sunshine under the clouds at the lakeshore. It was a beautiful view there right as the sun went down. Thanks to Sharon for taking this picture at Pier Marquette Beach. And of course, if you want to see your photos here in 13 years side, you can always send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's W on the X Twitter, Instagram and threads. Your temperatures out there today, they made their way up into the 50s, believe it or not. 50 Grand Rapids, 52 Muskegon and 51 in Holland. That's pretty close to average for this time of the year. On target forecast tracker, told you 47 landed at 50. That's just inside three. Now two days in a row. Of course, hope to add to that tomorrow. 13 weather balls lit up in green with no change for seen as we head toward tomorrow, but that's not the only reason. Also lit up in green as part of Operation Greenlight to bring attention to veteran services here in Kent County heading into the Veterans Day weekend. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And those temperatures again tomorrow, again, like we said, not too much different from today, but it will feel better tomorrow as the winds go down already lower this evening than it was earlier today. Winds only about three to eight miles per hour. Now these were gusting up toward the 20s earlier this evening, so feeling much better. Temperatures already into the 30s up in Fremont and the Big Rapids, 40 Grand Rapids. The wind chills have improved some, but they'll still be around as we head through tonight, especially with temperatures that dip down into the low 30s. 30s. We'll see a mixed bag of clouds throughout the rest of tonight and tomorrow. Look for temperatures in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow afternoon before we see another drop into the 30s tomorrow night. The forecast calls for 32 overnight, mostly cloudy, an isolated shower. Saturday, partly cloudy, cool temperatures 47. Sunday, clouds decrease. Temperature will be up toward 51, and that'll continue to warm as we head into the week ahead. The radar out there shows a little bit of light sprinkle, light shower activity. This is lake effect driven precipitation. Not going to be a major impact tonight. <clears throat> you can see a few of those flakes up in the northern portions of lower Michigan. Anything that falls tonight really going to be minimal impact and just not anything much more than a nuisance as we head through the evening though and into the overnight will push the rainfall potential offshore. And as we get into Saturday, we're looking at partly cloudy skies that'll turn mostly cloudy by the end of the day as we head into Saturday night again, much like us uh, Friday night may see a stray sprinkle come from these clouds, but that'll be about it. We'll clear the clouds out as we work away through Sunday will be mostly sunny by the end of the day and we'll start a nice sunny pattern as we head into the week ahead. Temperatures out there for your Saturday mid to upper 40s on the lake shore. Those temperatures will be similar in the northern zones. Mid 40s expected see more mid to upper 40s from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side 10 day outlook. Temperatures get into the 50s as we head toward this week of a nice stretch of dry weather all the way through about Wednesday. Rain chances come back Thursday night with temperatures close to 60. We'll see temperatures drop as rain leads us into next weekend. And speaking of the weekend, Veterans Day is this Saturday and all week long local landmarks like the 13 Weather Ball have been lit up in green as part of Operation Greenlight. It's returning to Kent County for the second year. The lights are to honor veterans and bring awareness to veteran services in Kent County that are underutilized. Those services include rental assistance, utility payments, food grants, spousal and dependent benefits and wellness programs, along with many others. The footprint of our office is don't disqualify yourself. That is actually a model that we always like to say to people. Do not disqualify yourself. There's, it's not because of income. It, if there's an emergency um, and you are wealthy, it doesn't matter. You have an unforeseen emergency. There are around 40,000 veterans in Kent County. People can make appointments with the Veterans Service Office in advance, but walk-ins are also welcome. Again, many of those landmarks have been green this week, including leading into this weekend as part of this operation. One of those is the Blue Bridge, which has been lit up in green since Monday the 6th, and that's going to continue all the way through this weekend. There will also be a Veterans Day parade happening in Grand Rapids tomorrow on the 11th. 13 on your side will also again be participating in Operation Greenlight with our weather ball all weekend long. And ahead of Veterans Day, a West Michigan business is honoring a former service member in a special way. 13 on your sides, Trevier Gonzalez caught up with those behind showers for soldiers. 
If it looks like I'm sitting on an old bathtub, well, that's because I am. And this is all because after receiving so many nominations, it was right here in Byron Center where a Vietnam veteran ended up winning that prize. Now, what is it? A brand new shower. The best part of it, it was all completely free. Yeah! It was an announcement so many were excited to share. All Weather Seal of West Michigan selecting one person for a brand new walk-in shower. We would all like to say congratulations on winning our 2023 Showers for Soldiers giveaway. Yeah! The winner, 85-year-old Charles Belongi, a Vietnam veteran who served for the United States Air Force. To Belongi, who has bad knees, the giveaway is so much more than a shower. I never had anything like this happen before, so it's, it's amazing that the cost of it, they're bearing to do it and wanting to do it. So it's, my wife and I appreciate it. It's actually a, a lifesaver from accidents and that, where you don't have to step over a tub. And we'd have never did it on our own. And I never expected to win. We were able to see Belongi pass along stories of his own experiences in the military as the work drove on. To those making this happen, they say it's their way of saying thank you to those who have already done so much. To be a part of this, it's, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in it. It's tough trying to find a way to give back to people who have given so much. Um, and as a home improvement company, you know, we can only do so much for the community too. So getting the opportunity to do something that truly makes an impact on his life, um, it's something that we, we take a lot of pride in. It's estimated that this project is something that would normally cost $25,000. And even though the work really took much of the day, Belongi really seemed to have a smile on his face at every step of the way. In Byron Center, Trevor Gonzalez, 13 on your side. And finally tonight, check this out. While on a hike, a West Michigan man made a discovery that's one in 100,000. 13 on your sides, Riley Mack tells us about it. Pure Michigan. I like the fresh air. Where creatures come in every shape and size. It's a chance to explore and kind of contemplate in your brain. And for Bob Meyer, avid hiker, <laughs> colors. I was looking for a, a nice trail to walk, kill some time. While venturing to a new spot, a spot of white ventured to him. But at first I thought it was a cat. It was the color that really drew it out. I was really excited. I was fumbling for my camera. I was trying to make sure that I had proof that I saw it. You, you hear about these videos of like albino deer and stuff halfway across the country. It's like, oh, okay, this stuff's real. <laughs> so real, it made much more than Bob smile. And seeing photos of these kind of mysteries tends to be the highlight of our days. A bright light for Rachel Leitner with the DNR. And you notice a stark white animal that's moving through the woods. They are pretty eye catching. Just a few seconds of video for us. Albino squirrel. Years of a lifetime for him. It's definitely harder for it to stay alive. Because you notice them, most times predators will pick off those animals pretty easily. And that's actually why we don't see this genetic mutation present very often, is because those animals don't really survive to have reproduction. It's lucky to have made it this far, I think. Making Bob's discovery that much more squirrely. It, it feels almost maybe once in a white lifetime, hopefully more than that. Even though it's rare, it is possible. It'll find you or it won't. <laughs> Soon, Pure Michigan will be blanketed in white, an uncomfortable time for many creatures. Unlike Bob's new friend, who will finally one unique little critter fit in. Riley Mack, Bino squirrel, 13 on your side. Love that story there. Thanks, Riley, for that report. And now that you're up to date on the latest forecast here in West Michigan and a couple cool stories as well. You can always find more online at 13 yoursidecom or by downloading our news and weather apps. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.